we evolve and we grow just pursuing what you want and be happy kahit sobrang slow steps yeah hindi mo kailangan hindi mo kailangan sumunod iba yung iba yung lane nila sa dami mm-hmm. oh yeah hey yeah one song yeah This is Abby Asistio, and welcome to the Advocally Podcast, where we get to know our favorite Filipino artists, musicians, and creatives. And today, I'm so glad to have this wonderful lady with us on the show. She is such an amazing singer, and I would like to call her a soul jazz R&B mermaid because of how unique her look, her vibe, her sound is. Today on the show, we have Melina. Hey, what's up, everybody? Hi, Melina. <laughs> We're so glad to have you here. To start it all off, how are you? Uh, I'm okay. I am a newly independent person. Mm-hmm. Yes, I just recently moved out of my parents' house. Getting the hang of it. Yeah. Love that I got to I get to do what I want. To yeah. Do. That's transitioning back coming from pandemic. Balik live gigs na ba ulit for you? Um, actually during pandemic kasi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eh. He called me up to to be a, a lead singer sa band. Mm. Nakita ko yun, yung marami kayo. Uh, we're called The Plug. So the Plug. It's yeah. my first time joining like a really full band. Mm-hmm. Challenging siya. Lumabas yung boss ko. But anyway. <laughs> so, Although kasi I would see you perform na online and some events that we had during yeah. the pandemic. Diba? I would usually see you with just a guitarista. Mm-hmm. Naging mahirap ba yung transition na, uy, full band na ulit. Na oh, bongang bonga. Kasi hindi ako sanay sa drums. Mm-hmm. And then... To this, okay siya kasi may in-ear kami. Oh, no. <laughs> may <taaga> kami. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, hindi ako masyado nahihirap. Rinig na rinig. Uh-huh. Being an artist and a musician here in the Philippines, I would say na parang hindi ito yung typical na nakasanay ng Filipino audience. Mm-hmm. Was that ever an issue na tanggap kaya ng gantong uh, market yung style of singing ko, yung music ko? Uh, yeah, may difficulties then when it comes to deciding what I really wanted to do. Kasi at first, ganun ako, na parang, yeah. I wanted to be different. I uh-huh. wanted to sound like no artist. But at the same time, nung kabataan ko pa, <laughs> nung, nung medyo, hindi a yearn ko pa yung konting fame. Mm-hmm. Ganun. Parang, andun ako sa, o oh, sige, parang kailangan ko ata gumawa ng kanta na acceptable sa kanilang lahat. Yeah. And then I realized, parang hindi siya nag-work for me kasi mm-hmm. hindi ako masaya eh. Hindi natural for oh, you. Hindi siya. Oh. I, I was looking for something else. Mm-hmm. So, I had to go back. I'm getting lost. Hindi ko na alam saan ako pupunta. Hindi ko alam kung sino yung mga taong kakausapin ko. Which I think is really part of an artist's journey. Kasi we try to see what would work. And then, the more you grow and mature, then marirealize na, I don't wanna put up. Not authentic and not genuine. Yes, that's true. So, with you finding your genuine sound, what became home for you? Because when I write songs, it's always relating to I know some people have you you know can relate to it, and if yeah. it if it reaches the right people, I'm I'm okay with that. May we know a little backstory the original songs that you did? Um. Okay. So yung habang buhay kasi I wrote that with my ex. Have a nagbabay person and dinner. Habang pinapanood ko siya, parang hindi siya pre. I was so in love that time. Nah. <laughs> Siguro thirty minutes na yun. Nagawa ko siya tapos man, na. Tapos. Ganun. Mm-hmm. I need somebody mm-hmm. to record this with me. Nagparang crowdsource ako. Sino gusto mo ng panda? Uh-huh. <laughs> Yan. So, si Tim Kata yung... Ayun. Pero like, when you look back at the songs that you wrote, alam mo yung gusto nila marinig yung song na yun, eh, wala na ako dun sa moment na yun eh, but I still need to sing it. Parang were there times that there are songs that you wrote that you don't wanna sing anymore? Kanina! Siyempre, ang ganda ng performance siya kanina. Parang kina yun eh. Sabi ko kayo dyan, I want to do it yun eh. Kasi eh, yun nga eh, every time I sing, yeah. bumabalik siya talaga eh. If, like it's fresh. You're an excellent artist. I'm sure you don't want to give naman half-baked performances. Uh-huh. So, parang you have to get in the zone and really uh-huh. feel the music. So, yun nga, parang I had to, I had to go back. Offering mo <laughs> naman yun, hindi lang sa kanya, but to the world. Uh-huh. Parang one thing that I really love about being a musician is that you're able to create a gift. Yeah. Towards everybody, na 
they could put themselves into that own story. Speaking of putting music out, siguro technical side naman tayo. Sige. One thing na naririnig ko parate sa musicians um, is you don't just sing and perform anymore. Right now, with our entertainment and music landscape, you have to be tech-savvy and be online and put out lots of content and work and collaborate with all these people. How has that been for you? Was it challenging? Was it a welcome experience? Ako kasi hindi ko siya, hindi ako nag-indulge. Uh-huh. Alam mo yung magpa-post cuts, yeah. nagsip ka ng clickbait, mga ganyan. Yeah. Hindi ko siya magawa. Although now, yung mga hinginan tulong sa ganyan, mga bad, na ngayon lang ulit ako nag-speak up. And nabanggit mo, you wanted to rebrand then. Gusto kong matry yung mag-solo. Okay. Actually, pinaplano ko, bass, tsaka ako lang. Kaso, oh, medyo okay. mahirap yan. Uh-huh. <laughs> gusto ko na talaga na pag lumabas ako ulit, kung ano yung gusto kong tunog. Na-achieve, yung parang na-achieve ko na, yung gusto kong iparating sa lahat ng tao. Parang yeah. Nasulat ko na lahat ng maayos, tapos nalapat na lahat ng music lang. Yung happy ako, yung mm-hmm. hindi ako magsisisi na, dapat hindi na pa tayo. Ang ganun. Mm-hmm. Uh, we evolve and we grow and we get um, slowly comfortable yeah. with ourselves. Mm-hmm. So, hindi ka na nagtatago masyado. Yeah. Kasi, yung gina- ito ginagamit ko dati as mask. I love the vulnerability of of acknowledging that. But at the same time, shining. Even though you don't, parang there are moments na you want to hide a little. But I guess with your smile, your vibe, your personality, it just overflows. And then, mixed with your talent pa. Parang, Actually, gusto mo i-try yun eh. Yung maging jolly naman. I know that part of your advocacy also, like being in it vocally, parang you want to encourage people to speak up and to show Um, who they are and talk about their what they're passionate about. Could you tell yeah. us a little more about that? Um, I guess in my also in my journey of finding myself. Parang gusto ko lang din encourage yung mga tao na it's okay, you know, just pursuing what you want and be happy and just wala kang inaapakang iba. Yun lang mm-hmm. naman yun, diba? Yun lang just be, be free. Yeah, be free. Mm-hmm. Be a person. Live your life. And then, I just want to be an example na na kaya naman kahit kahit sobrang slow steps yeah hindi mo kailangan hindi mo kailangan sumunod o hindi mo kailangan silang habulin kasi iba yeah. yun iba yung iba yung lane nila sa lane mm-hmm. yeah. yeah actually sometimes there are little things that you do to just show that you're being brave for yourself and since you mentioned it moving forward we want to know in the coming months years where is Melina and her music headed I would love to be be free with my music na rin. To be able to experience what the people I look up to experience. Mm-hmm. And you're already there. You're already living Slowly. it. Slowly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so before we end, I just wanted to uh, know if people were to talk about Melina and uh, they would have an idea of who she is and what her music is all about, what would those words be? Gusto ko pag may nagtanong, sino si Melina? Anong ano niya? Panoorin mo na lang ito. Gusto ko ganun. Experience. Ex- experience. I love that. Live shows. Aha. Uh-huh. Kinalabutan ako. <laughs> Pinapanood ko pa lang siya magsalita, hindi kinalabutan na ako. And seeing your performance a while ago, I could attest that you are <laughs> such an experience. We're so happy to have you here on Advocally Podcast. And maybe you'd like to invite our viewers to any of your upcoming gigs or releases. My goal for this year is to release an EP of all the songs that I wrote na hindi ko ma-release. Ngayon kasi, my band, The Plug, we play every Wednesdays and Saturdays, 9pm yun, 9.30pm, sa Jupiter, pardon my French, kasi mm-hmm. ako John. Your so, videos are online too. Like, see, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, my, my social media accounts are Instagram, slash Melina RS, M-E-L-E-E-N-A-R-S. And sa Facebook, Melina Music. Okay, follow, follow that. And again, Melina, thank you so much thank you. for thank being you. a part of our show. It's such a pleasure. Such an honor. <laughs> again, thank you so much, Melina. And before you leave, we have something for you from No Hair, Nature's Answer to Hair Loss. Our gift. Yay, thank you so much. Thank you. Again, this has been Abby Asistio. And thank you so much for joining us here on the Advocally Podcast brought to you by No Hair, Nature's Answer to Hair Loss. See you again next time. Oh, yeah.